Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in this video we are going to learn how to add Facebook leads to Google Sheets for leather business. So here I am an owner of a leather business and to promote my business I am running a Facebook ad. So in this case I want whenever a new lead is received automatically the details of that lead should be added in my Google Sheet as a new row. So to automate this process we will use an automation software named Pabli Connect in which we need to connect our trigger and our action. So in this process our trigger application will be Facebook lead ads and our action application will be Google Sheet. To learn this process step by step let me take it to my screen. Welcome to my screen. So in this video we are going to learn how to add Facebook lead ads detail in Google Sheet automatically. So here I am an owner of a leather business named as Honly Leather and to promote my business I am running a Facebook ad. So in this case I want whenever a new lead is generated automatically the details of that lead should be added in my Google Sheet as a new row. So to automate this process we will use an automation software named as Pabli Connect. This is the landing page of Pabli Connect. Here you can see two options sign in and sign up free. If you are a new user click on sign up free and get free 100 tasks every month to explore the software. And if you are an existing user click on sign in. Here I am an existing user so I am clicking on sign in. After signing in you can see all Pabli apps window where you can see all the applications of Pabli. Here to connect our applications we will use Pabli Connect. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here you can see a create workflow button on the top right corner. Here to create a new workflow I will click on this create workflow button. In this create workflow dialog box I have to give a name to my workflow and here I am giving the name as only leather Facebook lead ads to Google Sheet. Now I will select my folder as Facebook lead ads to Google Sheet. And now to create a workflow I will click on this create. Here in this workflow window you can see two most important principles of an automation process that are trigger and action. Where trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means action is a response towards our trigger. Your automation can have a single trigger but multiple action steps. Now to begin with our automation let's set up our trigger. Here I will choose my trigger application as Facebook lead ads. And my trigger event as new lead instance so that whenever a new lead is generated instantly Pabli Connect should capture the response. Now to connect Facebook lead ads with Pabli Connect here I will click on this connect. Here to build a new connection I will select add new connection. If your Facebook account is already connected with Pabli Connect you can click on select existing connection. Now I will click on this connect with Facebook lead ads. Here I will select my Facebook account and authorization is successful. Now moving forward here it is asking me to select my page. Here I will select my page as only leather. And then it is asking me to select lead gen form. So here in my meta business suit you can see the lead ad forms which I have created. You can create your own lead ad form as per your need. Now moving back to Pabli. Here I will select my lead gen form as only leather. So here I am selecting a single form because I want only the leads of this form should be captured by Pabli Connect. But if you want the leads of all the forms should be captured by Pabli Connect then you can select all lead gen forms. Now moving forward here I am going to click on save and send test request. Now after clicking on save and send test request here you can see as it is waiting for webhook response that means here I need to do a test submission. So to do a test submission let me take you to meta for developers. This is the home page of meta for developers here we will click on this more and from here we will select tools. Now in this developer tools we will select lead ads r2 rebook tool. Here in lead ads testing tool I have selected my page and my form and now to submit a new lead I will click on this preview form. So here I've entered a dummy data and now I'm going to click on next and now I'm going to click on submit. So here you can see as it says your test lead has been sent. So let's move back to Pabli. And here you can see we have received a response with full name, email, phone number and other details. So with this we have successfully set up our trigger. Now moving to our action step here I will choose my action application as Google Sheet and my action event as add new row. So here I've selected action event as add new row because I want whenever a new lead is generated automatically the details of that lead should be added in my Google Sheet as a new row. So now to connect my Google Sheets with Pabli Connect here I'm going to click on this connect. Again here to build a new connection I'm going to click on add new connection. If your Google Sheet is already connected with Pabli Connect then you can click on select existing connection. And now I'm going to click on sign in with Google. Here I'm going to select my ID. And then I'm going to give access to Pabli Connect because your data is secured with Pabli. Now moving forward here it is asking me to select spreadsheet. So here I've already created my Google Sheet where you can see some basic fields such as name, email and phone number. 
So moving back to Pabli, here I will select my spreadsheet as only leads and after that I will select my sheet as sheet 1. And now moving forward, here it is asking me to enter the values for my fields. So here in the name, instead of entering it manually, here I will map the data. Mapping data means insert data from previous step. That means here we will map the data from the response we have received in our Facebook lead ads. So here I'm going to select the full name and then for email I'm going to select, I'm going to select email and then I'm going to select phone number. So here I'm done with mapping the data and now I'm going to click on save and send test request. So here you can see we have received a successful response. So now let's go and check our Google Sheet. So here you can see we have received a successful response where we have got name as dummy user, email as dummy at the rate publitudes.com and the phone number. So with this we have successfully set up our automation. So now let's test our automation to check whether it is working or not. So to test our automation we need to submit a new lead and for that let me take you back to lead edge testing tool. So here in lead edge testing tool you can see it says you can create one lead per form. You will need to delete an existing lead in order to create a new one. So here to create a new lead I need to delete my previous lead. So here I'm going to click on this delete lead to delete my previous lead. After clicking on delete lead, I need to refresh my window and that's a necessary step. So again here I have selected my page and my form and now to submit a new lead, I'm going to click on this preview form. So here I've entered another dummy data and now I'm going to click on next and then submit. So as this says your test lead has been sent. So now let's go to our Google sheet again. And here you can see we have received a successful response where we have received our name as test lead, email as test at the rate publitudes.com and a phone number. So with this we have successfully tested our automation. So now let me summarize this whole video for you. So here we have taken our trigger as Facebook lead ads and our action as Google sheet. So that whenever a new lead is generated, automatically the details of that lead should be added in my Google sheet as a new row. If you want to use the same workflow, then you can find the clone link in the description box below. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Not only these applications, you can integrate many other applications with Pabli Connect. If you have any doubt, you can reach us at support at the If you have any query, you can reach us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issue, you can contact us on our website that is www.pabli.com. If you liked our video, please subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends.